The point is, if things are this bad already, what's the environmental damage going to be like when the port effectively doubles in size? Uh, we have Ramsar wetlands there, wetlands that are recognised to be of international importance and which Australia has undertaken to protect. We will see the change in uh, tidal patterns, uh, which occurred uh, very noticeably with the, uh, when the third runway was constructed. Uh, the range of uh, environmental changes on the bay and the damage to the uh, marine environment will be considerable. Um, unfortunately we do have very weak environmental law um, at a federal level so the capacity of the federal law to be used to be involved in this um, is not as strong as we, the Greens would like it to be uh, but it is a, a potential avenue there. The Botany Expansion Plan ignores yet another big social problem. It'll also tie up more land in surrounding suburbs for one of the biggest urban eyesores today, container storage parks. With imports rising at record levels, there are simply far more containers coming in than are going out. Current container imports are around 740,000 a year, but less than half of that number are going back out. That's well above 300,000 containers a year that have to be stored somewhere. Moreover, this discrepancy reflects the striking lack of investment in Australian industrial and manufacturing production, subsidising cheap consumer imports from China and elsewhere overseas. The import and export that occurs through Port Botany is similar to that that occurs across the country where we are importing um, cheap manufactured goods, goods we could be manufacturing here in Australia because we don't have enough support for the manufacturing industry here um, and we're not exporting anywhere near the same um, number or value of goods uh, out through Port Botany. And to top all this, the port expansion will coincide with an estimated tripling in air traffic at Sydney International Airport. Three times as many planes a day and even bigger planes thundering in over the suburban rooftops and choked roads. This airport expansion itself is expected to put substantially increased pressure on the area's infrastructure choking already overloaded roads. Not only that, but it could increase the risk of a terrorist attack. No major city in the world has its premier airport and its major container port so close together and within 15 minutes of its business district. I think that if we had national planning or we had state planning even about the ports, then those people in Wollongong, Port Kembla and Newcastle who are wanting expansions to their ports, that could be considered as a part of an overall strategic plan and how we deal with ports in this state and in this country. I think the federal government is very much behind what the state government is doing at Port Botany in terms of increasing the movements through. So I think, unfortunately, it's again one of those circumstances where Labor and Liberal have a shared view um, in terms of destroying our communities and destroying our local environment. It's patently clear that Port Botany's Big Bang is another state labour payoff for the developers and financing the top end of town. Not only that, but the decision to bring in a third port operator is seen as simply a move to drive down port costs. The Greens and other groups opposed to the expansion insist that the whole project be halted and genuine attention paid to community views and fears. Otherwise the whole of Sydney, choked as it already is with traffic and carbon monoxide emissions, will be paying the price of what former Premier Bob Carr himself called Botany, the densest concentration of hazardous industries in New South Wales. It's very important that people realise they are not powerless. We've had the recent example of the uh, withdrawal from the proposal to sell the Snowy Hydro. Uh, we can see from that that when enough people become angry enough and become vocal enough, that their opposition, uh, their voices will be heard and governments change their minds. It's very important to remember that we have a state election in March 2007.